Hey there, in this video we're going to learn about configurable equations. In SOLIDWORKS 2014, we've got some nice changes to how we can work with equations and variables. We can assign them to configurations. Let's begin by creating a new configuration. I'll give it an awesome name. I'll call it config02. And let me just highlight and copy that. Now I'm going to rename my default configuration. I'll call it, you guessed it, config01. Click OK. Now let's add a few variables. We'll go to Insert, Equations. Here's the Equation dialog window. Sketch Equation View is a new filter in SOLIDWORKS 2014. Let's create a new variable first. Variable A. We'll assign it a value of 10 millimeters. Let's create another variable, I'll call it B, and give it a different value, 25 millimeters. Click outside the cell to register. On the right of this window, we've got a drop-down menu of configurations now. Config 01 and 02 display in this menu. If you didn't create any configurations, you won't have this drop-down menu visible here. Let's switch to Configuration 1, and SOLIDWORKS prompts me to save changes to the current configuration before I switch to the other configuration. Let's change the value for this variable. We'll make it 1.5. I'll use centimeters instead of millimeters. I'll apply it to this configuration. Let's change the value for variable B as well. Instead of 25 millimeters, I'm going to enter 2 centimeters and apply it to this configuration also. Let's switch back to configuration 2 now. We're prompted to save. Let's click OK. As you can see here, our global variables A and B not only have different values, but also different units of measurement in the various configurations that I've got set up. Let's click OK. And let's right click on the annotations folder. Show Feature Dimensions. I'll double click on the depth of my extrusion, enter a new value, type in an equal sign, and let's create an equation here. Let's bring in global variable A plus global variable B. Now we specify to which configuration we'll apply this configuration. OK. Let's go back to Configuration 1. Again, double click on the depth dimension. Let's edit the equation. We applied it to all the configurations. Now we're going to change that. And we'll apply it to this configuration. Click OK. Let's rebuild and go back to Configuration 2. So what this all means is that now we're able to apply two different equations to the same parameters in different configurations. We've also got the ability to configure the variables and equations in the design table too. Let's go to Insert on the main menu strip, scroll down to Tables, and select Design Table. Click OK. We'll just accept the default options. Let me hide some columns. Just select the columns we want to hide. Right-click and hide. I'm going to highlight these three columns and make the text size a little bit bigger. Let's say 14 so it's easier for you to see. Notice that the variables in my table use an apostrophe here. The reason is that if you export an equation to Excel, it lets Excel know to interpret the value in the cell as a variable, not simply as a text stream. So don't delete that apostrophe, you need it. When you're done making your modifications, just click outside the design table to exit Excel. And here we've successfully created two configurations in the design table. This concludes our video about the new Configurable Equations feature, which lets us apply different equations to different configurations right in the Equations window.